Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Bruno Fightmaster for this evening and we are back with a kind of different game that I wasn't expecting to uh, bring up here but we're gonna try out some Kerbal Space Program. Uh, so this was developed by Squad published by Private Division back in April of 2015. Uh, it is a kind of space sandbox like astrophysics I don't know, generator, sandbox, puzzle game, something like that. Uh, but we had gotten a request from Jesse on one of the other videos here that they said we should try out some Kerbal Space Program here. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot, see how we like it. Uh, so Jesse, this one is for you. Uh, let's go and get started. Uh, we're going to start a new one. I can spell library properly. Uh, we'll do career mode. Uh, let's change the flag. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, let's do... We'll do orbit, I think. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, let's do this. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, Flight Director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around by holding the right mouse button to move the camera or use the arrow keys. Right-click over the Space Center facilities to view more about them, and left-click when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out the training section of the main menu. Neat. Thank you, Gene. I appreciate that. Let's go look around. Uh, mission control. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. So we have a couple of these are our contracts that we get to do some missions on. Uh, so escape the atmosphere. Um, don't think we can do that yet because we don't really have any information. We're really just starting out. So we probably can't do that. Uh, an orbit. Yeah. Also probably can't do that. So we'll do that later. Uh, we need to launch a vessel. And get some scientific data. I think we can do both of those. Because I'm assuming for science, we can probably just take care of that literally by going up and down. So, we'll try that. Okay, what else we got? Space playing hangar. What do we have here? Hello, I'm Werner von Kerming, Chief Rocketry Engineer. This is the space playing hangar. Here is where we build spacecraft that later will take off from the runway. On your left, you'll find components to construct your own space plane. Select the starting part, then attach others to it to build. You can then have a look around with the right mouse button or the arrow keys. We just got this place cleaned up, so try not to mess it up too much. If you need more guidance on how to build a spacecraft, take a look at the training section in the main menu. Neat. I don't think we'll really be doing anything here yet, because I think this is going to be more for... Um, yeah, so, like, we don't have a way to, well, no, it's just because it can't be the first part. Um, but we don't have any, like, ground things for liftoff or anything like that, so this is probably not where we're going to be. I'm guessing this is going to be more for when we start getting better missions and start getting more things to do, like, actual spacecraft stuff. So we'll do that later. Anyway. Uh, astronaut complex. Ooh, we have our people. Um, I think what would go best with our... You know, we'll just stick with the basic. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we have Jebediah, we have Bill, we have Bob, and we have Valentina. Uh, you know, I think uh, Valentina will probably be our girl here. We'll have her be the pilot. What else we got? Uh, we can have a whole bunch of other people. Cost 62000 for our next person, which we definitely don't have that. I also love the stupidity and courage are the only two uh, stats for anybody here. That's hilarious. Um, and we're not going to be really getting anyone because we don't have any things. But um, we don't have anyone assigned. We don't have any lost. We just have everyone available because so, we're just we're just getting started. So uh, yeah, I don't think we need anyone there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, administration building. Uh, okay, so some finances... Things we can do if we need to get some more money or stuff. Okay. So.
yeah, we can come back to this later when we actually need it, but we don't really need any like money or anything like that. We don't really need to do anything weird with public relations or anything like that. So this is also just kind of uh, worthless for us right now. Um, but this will be so that way we can get extra resources, it looks like. And we can keep this thing up and running. Because I'm guessing if we don't have enough money, we can't continue to do things, which is fine. Uh, R&D, what do we got? Uh, okay. This is how we unlock a bunch of new parts. Okay, cool. Um... So yeah, we'll need to do that later once we actually get some parts. But uh, yeah, we don't really don't really have anything here because um, we don't have any science, which is fine. We just have all the basic stuff. Cool. Uh, the tracking station. What do you have here? Hi again. This is the tracking station facility. In here, you can view all the solar system as well as the current positions and trajectories of all ongoing missions. When you have missions in progress, you'll see them listed on the panel at your left, and you'll be able to take command of them from this screen. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations in orbit or on the surface. Those will be visible here. Lastly, if you want to see the same map view during flight, just hit the M key. Neat. Okay, so uh, we are here with the Kerbal Space Center and uh, Island Airfield. Interesting. Okay. And that is our goal. The moon. Uh, which is quite a ways away, um, but it's the closest thing to us. Because if we see we can back out, there are there's Minimus out there. There's the sun. If we ever want to go to that, which we probably never will. Um, but if we keep going out, we can see that we are also just the smallest kind of island here. There's Moho, Eve, Duna, and see it goes all the way out. Of course, to the solar system. Grand scheme, maybe Elu. Right now, we are just going to the moon. And we'll see how we feel after that. See if we want to continue out to maybe stretch to all these other planets. But for right now, let's just stick in our little sphere of influence and just get to the moon. Cool. Also not needed. Uh, so there is the launch pad, which we don't have anything to build yet, so we don't need to go there. So let's build something. Okay, so uh, we need to build our rocket. I know for our contracts, it's basically do some science and just, you know, launch something. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can do that. So first, we need a command pod. This will be where people need to go in to actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um... Command things from. Wow, that took me too long. I'm sorry, it's early. Uh, all right, we have a flea solid rocket booster. Excellent. Um, we don't really need too much. So we don't really need any of this because we don't have anything to build off of that. So aerodynamics. I don't think we're gonna bother with this yet. I know it only costs twenty five dollars to use it, but we are basically just trying to do it up and down. So. Um, some science. Yeah, we should probably put some science on here, just in case. And cargo. Don't think we need either of these, because we're not going to be going anywhere. Alright. And last thing is utility, which is a parachute. We definitely need one of those. That way we can actually, you know, land. Alright. So we have our, uh, we have our garbage can. Our spacecraft. Is the garbage one. <laughs> Save that, and uh, yeah, let's take it for a spin. Uh, okay, yes, so we also do have everything set up properly here. Uh, whenever you build a spacecraft, you will see that there are stages over here, like regular rockets, stages as far as when things happen and what order they happen in. So we'll see, that goes from the highest number to the lowest number. So we'll see that first, our engines are going to fire off, uh, so we can actually, you know, go. Um, and then we have our parachute, which will deploy later. Uh, and we can actually adjust that here real quick. Let's do the minimum pressure of, like, half an atmosphere. And probably about 3,500. So these are, like, measuring safe distances of when the thing will um, 
deploy automatically. Uh, so we can stage it so it'll start and then it'll deploy when it's actually safe to do so. Uh, but yeah, say that. Let's go launch. Alrighty. So, we don't really need to do anything fancy. We just need to basically go up and down and make sure we don't die. Let's do it. Oh, oh no. Uh, you know, this isn't exactly the way I wanted to go, but, you know, that'll be fine. Um... We are, uh, not going the direction I was expecting either, but that's okay. Um, well, you know, hey, we launched it. We're going for distance, apparently, this time. So, yeah, we'll just uh, stage our parachute here, and, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's observe the mystery go. It jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. That tracks. Um, so we don't really need anything much. Also, yes, we need to time warp this because this is going to be a rather long process here. Uh, thankfully, I found that just from doing our doing a couple tests here first. Um, so I know that this is going to take a little bit, but that's fine. We can just cut all of that out. And touchdown. All right, cool. So, we survived. You see Jebediah over here is uh, having just a great old time. Oh, um, interesting. I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. Oops, he dropped. Anyway, yes. All right, cool. Well, that's great. Uh, wow. Um, okay. This is, this is spectacular. Okay. Can we climb up here? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, let's just recover and we'll be fine. That was interesting. That's probably better done when we actually go on space, uh, space missions and actually be there. All right, cool. So yes. We also survived the fight. Excellent. We recovered everything. I think. Did we recover everything? I would assume we did. Cool. Uh, we have 15 uh, science, so let's go to R&D. And let's get some extra things. Uh, so we can get a couple of different engines and a fuel tank. That'll be interesting, so we can go farther. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get that. What do we have for engineering? Decoupler, communications, and a thermometer. Yeah, we should probably get that too. Um, so we definitely want this because we want the fuel as far as bigger fuel tanks, but we also want like the actual like fuel tank so we can go longer. Um, we want these for being able to send stuff back. Uh, and also a decoupler. That's going to be real important. So similar to regular spacecraft, uh, you want to let the rest of the Stuff just kind of go when it's not being used, uh, so that way it's not going to have you like weigh you guys down. So you don't have to. Um, it'll be easier to land. Uh, so yeah, we have that. We don't have enough for anything else, so that's good there. Uh, let's go back to mission control. Did we? Okay, we got the first vessel. Apparently, we didn't get this, but that's fine. We can try it again. Okay. Um... So we have a couple of things. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, test the solid booster at the launch site. Yeah, we can do that. We're already using the fleet, so let's do it. Cool. Then we have other things that we can test. Um, and then some other stuff as far as doing focus surveys, but that's fine. Um, all right, yeah, so we have a couple of, a couple of easy ones. Let's go ahead and go back. Um, and really, we can just 
go up and down, but, uh, you know, let's have Jebediah in here. Let's go ahead and get him leveled up since he's already there. Um, why do we have two? That's fine. Uh, yes. So, launch. Let's do it. Flight number two of the garbage one in three, two, one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad. It's very, very bad. Um, can we recover? No, we can't. Well, that's most unfortunate. Um, goodbye, Jebediah. Whoops. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to go back to the Space Center. Ew. Whoops. Good thing we have another pilot. Okay, then. Well, let's try this again. And maybe let's, uh... Let me add some fins. Um... Let me do it three fins, I think. Yeah. Nice and... Nice and neat. This will be garbage, too. It's still pretty much garbage. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna save that. Let's go launch. We still have our pilot Valentine, I believe. Yes. Yes, Valentina and Kermit. All right, cool. All right, garbage two. Again, we're going to try this. Let's do it. Is our parachute at the right? Yes, it is. All right, let's do it. And we're going in a much higher trajectory this time, which is good. Didn't exactly want to come this way, though. I wanted to go, like, out to the ocean. But that's all right. These things happen. Can we actually get some decent distance up here? Kind of. Are we going to crack 10,000? We are. Hooray. We did something good. Okay. Easy there. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and have our parachute be ready to deploy. It's not going to deploy for a little bit. Also, let's time warp this up a little bit. Are we going to be okay? Yes, we are. Excellent. And we'll slowly float down. Once again, we make a successful landing. Hooray! Valentina's all happy. She also has a successful flight. Hooray! Recover the vessel. All right. Cool, we got some more science. Uh, we got every... We actually got everything this time, so I don't know if we got our... Uh, first uh, our first vessel back um, <laughs> whoops All right, anyway then she got some XP hooray cool uh, we have some more R&D can we buy anything I don't think we can good have enough alright back to mission control we completed that alright cool oh we didn't get scientific data because we're fools that's fine 
Um, all right. Uh, we can also test the parachute. Activate the part through the staging sequence and all cast conditions are met. So... Okay. So going to be flying between five and 10,000 meters. Speed between 100 to 250 meters. Okay, that's fine. Um, sure, I assume that we can do that as well. All right, uh, back to the launch pad. Go back to the garbage too, because uh, yeah, we really don't need too much else. So let's go. I wonder, because I know that this is going to have a lot. I wonder if there's a way for me to turn it off, but okay. Anyway, so we're going to try the other way, see if we can't go out to the water. Oh, nope. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'm going to get up to that. Go to where we need here. Need 5,000. Thank you. Okay. Oh, right. Because I had it on a different thing here, which is fine. So, we're in 5,000. We have speed. I hope we have enough speed. Um, we'll need 5,000. There we go. I should then grab us real quick. Yeah. Alright. Let's time warp till the end. Uh, of course, the only problem with this is that I had the parachute open way too early, so that way it takes forever for it to get down. But we still make it. Wow, that was a hard hit. But hey, whatever works. We did it. Hooray. And we recovered everyone. Got some more science. Excellent. No XP gain from it, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, we didn't get this. Why not? Well, maybe I have to activate it when I'm in that particular range. Okay, we can give it another shot.
Okay. We're going to wait till we hit that 5,000 mark this time. There we go. Now we activate it. Okay, and let's time warp forward. And I'm assuming this one kind of has basically been the same thing that we've always been doing. Yeah, it's gonna pop open. It's gonna work just fine. And we're gonna float lazily down to the ground once again. I'm not sure why I can't get it to actually go in the direction I'm wanting it to, because I know initially, you know, I'd press the direction to turn the ship, and it went back here into land. I tried doing it the other way, and this time it also went back into land. But, hey, you know, these things happen. Let's observe the mystery view. Try to transmit the data. We can't, though, because we don't have any way to communicate. So we're going to review the data, and we're just going to keep the experiment. I think we've already done this one once, so it doesn't really matter, but here we are. And once again, we'll float lazily down to the Earth. Well, not Earth, but Kerbin. This amount was smart though, made the parachute open later, so it didn't take quite as long. Again, another successful, why do you feel like you're not attached? Uh, mission, I guess. Mission adjacent. Okay. Did we finally... Yes, we did. Alright, cool. So, that means we can now do some other things. So, let's do... One test option, the parts, but all test conditions are met. Okay. So, you want us to basically just test the heat shield and run test when we're sitting on the launch site. That's fine. We'll happily do that. What's this other one? Yeah, let's do this one. This is going to be our other fuel thing, yes? Yeah, test the hammer. All right. Cool. I hope this will get us what we need. So, that means we need to go back to building some vehicles. Okay, we are no longer doing the garbage. You can go away. Um, so we have this. Let's put on the new engine, the hammer. Oh, it's big. Okay. Um, we probably definitely need some... Yeah, I think we're actually going to do a decoupler here as well. Because I can imagine this hammer is going to be extremely heavy. Uh, and I'd like us to actually survive. Uh, so now, of course, we need to make a couple of different steps. Uh, we need to put you first. There we go. All right, so then that's going to go. Then we'll decouple, and then we'll have just our thing here. So that's good. Uh, we don't have any payload. Oh, we have the heat shield, too, that we can do. Yes, actually, let's do that. Move you down. Move you somewhere. Uh, let's put the heat shield onto here. Very small heat shield. Um, decoupler onto you. Then that onto you. Alright, cool, so we can do everything. Um, you know, let's give ourselves a little uh, communication thingy here. Um, probably not right on top of... Let's do this one, because I realized. Let's not do the one that is right on top of... The parachute, that's probably a bad idea. So do that one. You're off center. It annoys me. Oh, and because of the way you're made, you're not going to be on center ever. Alright, fine. Um, so we'll just do you right above our thing here. Man, this looks bad. This doesn't line up straight. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Alright, probably do some aerodynamics as well. Let's do, actually... Let's do four fins. 
Yeah, we're looking like an actual rocket now. We are rocket men. All right. And the hammer won. All right. Okay. Now we're just going to leave everything basically at max for that. Um, you, we're going to put you up a little bit. No, we're not. We're still going to keep you at 35. Because we actually want this to go somewhat swimmingly. Or as much as we can. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. So let's save this one as the hammer one. And let's go to the launch pad. Cool. Now, is everything still where it needs to be? Um, yes, it is. All right, cool. So, first off, come in here. Run test. Cool. We got some messages. A whole bunch of different things complete. I hope that was one of the things that we already did. Um, yes, so we're going to do that. All right, cool. Now that we have that, let's give this baby a whirl. Alrighty. And let's speed it up a bit. Alright. Getting much higher this time. We actually got the place we need to go to. Hooray! Oh, 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 oh. Hello, hello. No, easy, easy. Stop, stop, stop. What is happening? Oh god. Everything's going crazy. Okay. We still managed to do that, which is good. Okay. Um, so the Mr. Goo. Cool. Let's transmit the data. Not enough static discharge. All right, so we didn't have enough to do anything with that. That's fine, though. Because, you know, we are still at the point where we are... Uh... Why, why can you not do that? That doesn't make any sense the experiment whatever that's fine okay uh in either case we have still managed to successfully launch uh oh we do <laughs> we do have our ship just out there the first one didn't make it it's just kind of hanging out there i wonder if there's any way for us to get it back um which seems interesting uh we might just leave that one out there uh it's just Jebediah when he was around. He was like, nah, I don't like this ship. This ship's just going to stay out here. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> whoops. Anyway. So. I should probably always keep this RCS on, actually. So this is kind of like a automated balancing thing. I didn't realize it was off. That's fine. Um, yeah. So hopefully when we did our test there with the heat shield... That actually took, so we'll get some more science there. Hopefully we met all the requirements for uh, the hammer, so we can get some more science there. And then hopefully we can get some better equipment, so maybe we can actually, like, leave orbit. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens once we splash down here in three, two, one. Splash. It's a very hard splash. Even though I'm, I don't know how much uh, water is actually underneath this. I'm assuming it's not just right there, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. Anyway, recover the vessel. Hooray. So, yeah, we didn't actually uh, get the first one. That's kind of sad, but oh well. Okay, yeah, 26 signs. I think we got all of our things here. So we'll go back to mission control. Okay, no, we didn't get this one. I don't know why. But, mm, Okay. Uh, haul the MK-12 radial mount drogue chute into flight over Kerbin. Okay. Also, why do we have this one again? I wonder if this is... Um, this one I think we can do. I think this is the one that we were doing initially, so let's do that. Anyway, um, but I wonder for these... Like, if it's almost, we, they want a second engine to go off. We can try that. But first, back to R&D. Um, what else can we do? Get some more liquid fuel. 
a radial decoupler. So we'll structural linkage between itself and whatever it's connected to. Okay. Add some stability. Some additional heat shields. Service bay. Some other parachutes. Side parachutes, which is interesting. Um, or we can uh, go fast. Uh, I think... Yeah, let's go fast. We want to actually... Like, what I want to do is actually be able to get to a point where we can, in fact, um, like, have multiple, um, like, places we can haul things. So that way we can maybe get a second, um, what are we looking at here? Um, like second engines of that, so we can, in fact, like, really get out there into space. Um, yeah, let's do some general rocketry. Why not? Okay. Alrighty, so, what do you have for missions? Uh, test the hammer and test the TD-12 decoupler, which I think that's the one that we already have on our hammer one. I think that's the only decoupler we have. Yes, we do. Okay. Cool. So, uh, let's just do another hammer launch then. What? Why are we unable to launch? What do you mean it contains an experimental part? Do we not have one of these anymore? Okay, well, I guess we don't have that. That's fine then. This will, in fact, be the hammer. We'll do the hot hammer. One, because we don't have a heat shield, so we're just going to be hot. You know, some like it hot. I, in fact, like it hot. This is going to be great. Anyway, um, we still don't have anything to... Oops. We still don't really have any type of... Hmm. The question is, do we give it a fuel tank? Where are they? Yeah, do we give it a fuel tank? Because we can then probably go even farther, I would assume. Sure, why not? And that's the decoupler. All right, cool. So, uh, you know, let's try it. Okay. All right. Let's do it, and let's go uh, away from our place here. There we go. Yeah, now we're getting it. We really got up here. Oh, don't want that. Easy, 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 easy. And stabilization back on. Ooh. Pretty. Can we see the moon from here? Probably not. I don't think we're far enough out from that to be able to do it. Also, yeah, let's decouple that so that I can just go out into space. Bye, part. We hardly knew you. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Yep, straight down, that's fine. You're probably gonna come in a little hot. Or maybe not. Well, okay, I guess it's just turning to night, so. All right, uh. Hot hammer Debris. All right. And again, we are still managing to keep everything going on. Never mind that first uh, that first thing that happened with um, 
Jebediah, don't worry about him. He's fine. It's all good. Don't don't even worry about it. Um, that's probably just back to yeah. Jokes and waffles aren't fine. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I think that's probably going to be a good place to stop for our first mission here, or our first uh, first set of missions. Yeah, we didn't do too bad. Um, did a bunch of missions uh, for Mission Control, tested out a bunch of things. We did lose a pilot, though. And that's not great, but, you know, could always be worse. Um, did some experiments. We got a decent amount of parts. I think it did work as far as what I was planning on for, you know, that fuel tank did in fact get us pretty far away from things this time, which is kind of nice. So we are at least on the right track. That's probably Dim uh, Would that be Dimun? No, I don't think that's Dimun. Well, it might be the moon. I don't know. Doesn't exactly matter. That's fine. But now that we splash down, once again, safe and sound, cover the vessel, recover Valentina, and we uh, live to science another day. Uh, how much science did we get for this one, actually? Nine. It's not a lot. Uh, all right. Can we actually get anything here, though? 9.5? No, we can't. All right. So... We probably need to figure out some more missions here as far as what it's actually looking to do, and we can go from there. Um, but yeah, we'll probably just do another bunch of these, uh, like, just test things here. Because I think that's kind of all that we are in the position that we can do right now, is we just need to test a bunch of things. Though we can't do anything, because apparently I don't understand what's going on for these as far as when we need to decouple. I mean, we need to decouple at 43 to 46, that would make sense. This one I'm not sure of. I'm guessing this one might be that we have to actually uh, activate it at that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just dig and figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Anyway, but thank you for joining me once again. Uh, you know, YouTube algorithm things like subscribe, hit the bell, whatever. Um, you can tell your friends about this place, though. That That's what I would really like, because I would like more people to kind of come here uh, and join me uh, in... Exploring just everything that games has to offer. Um, I, I don't know if you guys know this or not. Video games are cool. They're, they're cool as hell. Um, and I am all about just trying to explore anything that they have to offer. Uh, I don't know. Can we actually... Oh, yeah. We can recover that. There we go. Now we got that, too. Good. Didn't look like we got any extra science for it, which is unfortunate. But, hey, at least we recovered it. Too bad, Jebediah. It's not going to be a tombstone for you. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll come back. We'll show off some more rockets, and we'll see what we get up to next. Until next time, friends, this is Bruno Fightmaster, checking out.